one? A kind of thing. Yeah, um, so this is the sequel to Remothered, Tormented Fathers. It's called Remothered Broken Porcelain. And it doesn't come out until October 13th, yet I have a demo anyway. <laughs> the, I, got con I got contacted by somebody from the uh, development team, and they offered me a demo. Under an embargo until the 2nd, and even though I'm recording this on the 1st, and you guys aren't going to see it until after the embargo, obviously. Um, they're not paying me for this early access to it. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever gotten offered a game code like this, so... This is only the demo version, so they said it was only the first two hours of the game. Uh, I'm not sure how much that is in the span of the entire game, because I know the first one was relatively short. I think I finished it in about three or four hours. Uh, but yeah! Let's do it! <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Um, I haven't played the other one in a while, so this is going to end well. And also, it's still technically... Do you want to see a recap of the events of Tormented Fathers? Yes, because I can't remember shit. <laughs> also, I just want to see what they're doing. Where do you want me to start? From the beginning. The story so far. <laughs> I'm excited. One late afternoon, a mysterious woman, who introduces herself as Dr. Reed Rosemary, visits the villa of the old notary, Richard Felton, whom suffers from a strange disease. He is assisted by his personal nurse, Gloria Ashman. After a brief and fruitless conversation, Reed is exposed as an imposter. She has uh -oh. come to the villa to find out what really happened to Felton's missing adopted daughter, Celeste. After being thrown out and refusing to give up, Reed hides until nightfall and sneaks back into the villa to search for clues. As Reed explores the villa, she soon finds herself in the center of her worst nightmare. Richard Felton has killed his wife, Ariana Gallo, and has lost his sanity. Gross. Upon learning that Reed has infiltrated the villa, Felton and a mysterious red nun begin hunting Reed. Don't get stabbed Reed by the nun! eventually reaches the attic, where a mysterious girl who claims to be called Jennifer is found looming in the shadows. Reed eventually discovers that Richard Felton and the Jennifer in the attic are actually the same person. Richard Felton was born as a woman, but was then forced by her cruel father to live as a man. Vinoxel. A drug created by Felton, the Ashmans, and Professor Wyman on the Rosagallo farms was created from a rare breed of parasitic moths to repress and erase <laughs> traumatic memories. It is I revealed that the drug was tested on Felton and the nuns of the nearby convent. The drug caused terrible side effects, hallucinations, severe light sensitivity, and homicidal rage. As Reed was escaping Jennifer, Gloria returns to the villa and offers to help Reed. Yeah, that ended poorly. Gloria drugs Reed, and upon wakening, she finds Gloria forcing Felton to cut out his own tongue and burn himself to death. Gloria reveals that she is the Red Nun, the sole survivor of the fire at the convent, which was started to cover up the Phenoxyl experiments. Gloria so she's has been too. hypnotizing Felton for revenge. After a frantic confrontation, Reed manages to escape Gloria's murderous rage. And Just yeets her out a window. Passes, she reveals that Celeste is still alive and that she had fled the Felton Villa years ago. Reed must continue her search for unanswered questions. If Gloria was the daughter of Felton's associates, the Ashmans, why was she used as a guinea pig for experiments in the convent? Who were the Feltons protecting their daughter from? What happened to Celeste Felton? Also, I can't remember if they actually explained why she's so... why, um... Dr. Reed was so interested in Celeste. I don't think they ever really explained the connection there. I remember that there was something about her being a nun in the con in the nun convent at one point, but she like escaped before the fire. Or maybe she set the fire. I have not played Tormented Fathers in eight. I've I haven't played it since I did my let's play. This demo represents a work in progress and may differ from the final product. 
which comes out on October 13th, by the way. And yeah, j just as a recap, I've been following um, Daryl Arts for literally like 10 years because originally this entire thing was supposed to be a remake of Clock Tower. Traumatic stress disorder. We have the solution to your problem. Phenoxil. It isolates and removes your torment, be it an old traumatic event or a bad memory. I actually have post traumatic stress disorder, like diagnosed. Constant churning over it. Forget about it forever. It's finally possible with Phenoxil. That doesn't make sense. Fucking monsters! Well then. Where'd the subtitles go? <laughs> wait, wait, where, where'd the subtitles go, game? Game? No. Language? And it's not going to apply to you want. I didn't make any changes. What are you talking about? Subtitles is- Okay, I guess there's just no subtitles for that one thing. I'll- Okay. Alright. You can't erase memories forever. It would be like erasing time itself. What the fuck? Memories and time go hand in hand. Okay. The consequences would be so even that more devastating the than all Alzheimer's disease. There would be no separation between pre and post trauma. The memories would wander autonomously in search for answers. Okay. On common ground. Why Brought am I here? Spells of amnesia, hallucinations, and emotional swings. Two opposing perceptions would coexist, overlapping and threatening one another, to the detriment of the one truth, now shattered, the so-called porcelain memory. Hey! I got a screwdriver. Um. Hello? I have a flashlight. Can't see for shit right now. Why do I feel like I'm gonna get attacked like literally immediately? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay, um. Okay. What? <laughs> okay, I'm dead already! Cool! <laughs> Okay. Um. <laughs> Is that supposed to happen? I wasn't. I didn't really know what the controls were. Um. <laughs> Shift to run. But I rebound. Do I have to redo all of my controls? Because I thought I rebound them before I started recording. Mm, tits. Well, I guess I'll check that once it's done loading. Oh, okay. I guess it was supposed to happen. <laughs> Cool! I was supposed to get shanked in a shady corridor. <laughs> or corner. Yes. Uh, hello? Oh! I think that's Rosemary. Who is this? Am I still playing as Rosemary or am I playing as the girl? I thought that was actually my door. <laughs> the girl is here. Shall I let her in? Oh shit! Okay, she's not dead. Cool. So I'm gonna guess you know this is Celeste. Here, lady, don't you? 
nice, you know, lip movement there, dude. Oh, I'm controlling this, okay. Let's check the controls real quick. Okay, controls. What it thinks I'm using? It thinks I'm... Game. Not using a controller. I, there we go. <laughs> okay, it did reset all of my key bindings. Okay. Rude. That's why I couldn't run. Got it. I'm just gonna... There we go. Just gonna just quickly fix some of this shit. That's why I couldn't run when I was getting chased. Just click a little bit of that and click a little bit of that and hit E. That is going to be annoying if I have to redo that every time I start this game. Hi. Am I in trouble? Did you break your arm? Oh, yeah, she did. I am willing to turn a blind eye to the money and the cigarettes. The don't be fooled into thinking that I don't know about them. I smoke? <laughs> but for everything else, I refuse to do so. This is not a tourist resort, nor a playground. Breaking an entry? Larceny! What plans did you have for that gun? For God's sake, Jennifer, tell me! Wait, I'm Jennifer? I don't know anymore. It seems you are a magnet for trouble. From what I'm reading, you caused a lot of hassle, especially at the Flemington Girls Institute. Other girls similar to you ended up straight in juvie. Did you know that? <laughs> All I can do is apologize. <laughs> I can assure you I never intended... Young lady... What are you running away from? Why you is... are safe here. Why does you can she talk have an accent, but he doesn't? I'm serious. Where is the set? <sighs> Very well. We will have to talk about this again. Considering what has happened, I have made arrangements to give you new chores. You will help Eliza in the kitchen. But, sir! You will do your best. I've <laughs> always done my best here. I seriously doubt that. When you become of age, you will do as you wish and as you see fit. But until then, you are under my care and you will do as I say. Rude. Run I don't like this guy. Now. He's an asshole. How can she help in the kitchen? Her arm is broken. <laughs> oh, and by the way, Lindsay will no longer be a problem for you. What's that supposed to mean? What do you mean? <laughs> she insisted that I send you elsewhere. Instead, I have organized to have her transferred to another facility. They will be coming to collect her next week. You may leave. Rude. Hi! Can I run now? Can I actually run? The bathroom in room number 212 has to be cleaned. Oh, I have a broken don't arm! don't that you'll be helping Elisa in the kitchen after lunch. Okay. I work in a kitchen! You, you can't really work in a kitchen with a broken arm! Make sure that the two of you don't get him agitated after his parents' death. Mr. Ashman Jr. did everything by himself here. What happened to them? Dead, my dear. Like all those who grow old. And I'm sure the mourning sped up the process. Mourning? For the nearby convent. Have you seriously not heard of it? Mm, the fire! The convent just went up in flames one day. Even this building was partly damaged. A dozen nuns okay. died in that fire. Mr. Ashman's sister, Gloria, being one of them. Uh, uh I can't, terrible. I can't. They had contracted some sort of disease. I can't get through the door? What the Gloria, fuck? <laughs> they had gone mad. And that Dr. Wyman? Oh, there we go. Sure as hell didn't help them. Poor girl. She was locked up in there by her own parents. What? Rude. Hi, Jen. Oh, Andrea. I'll start with room 213. Alright. Okay. I thought that was the one I was supposed to clean. Uh. The audio's cut out. Did Mr. Ashman have something <laughs> oh, to do with it? Shh. Lori, your voice. You'll get us thrown out of here. It seems that Mr. Ashman had the bad habit of touching his little sister. What? Oh, God. Obviously, the parents didn't like this at all. So they sent him to a family relative in the north and his sister Gloria to the convent. That's the that's if the red nun me, from the first game. I would have done the opposite. For him, the arrangement only lasted a few months. For her instead? Well, that's another story entirely. 
He had always been mommy and daddy. So sweetheart. they punished her for getting sexually abused by her brother. Fucking fabulous. <sighs> also, rude. Worst parents of the year. It has a little bit of stuttery problems, but I'm willing to let some of it slide because demo. Mm, don't like this. Don't like this. That's the music from the title screen. Don't get good. It's gonna break the window and grab you. No! <laughs> Fucking hell, Lynn, you scared me! Oh oh, 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 I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. No way. It is so last year. Everything okay with Ashman? Of course. Fantastic. Never better. Everything is great. <laughs> he got About that. Me, didn't he? Why would you care, Lynn? Tell me. I was just asking. Asking what? It's none of your business. What are you talking about? I'm playing an asshole! You can't be upset with me forever. Yes, she can. <gasps> I'm trying not to be, but my arm keeps reminding me. Oh, she broke her arm. Okay. I didn't mean to. It was only an accident. Do you have any idea how guilty I feel? Then please, I feel so shit about it. I didn't want it to get to this point. Are you gonna explain what happened? Ashman told me everything. What are you talking about? You suggested to him that I be transferred elsewhere. Is that what you wanted? Mm. You're really a bitch sometimes. A yep. bitch who let herself be fooled. But no. In the end, you withdrew yourself. You didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't want to get in trouble. Well said. You think we would have gotten away with it, right? Go away, Lynn. Leave me alone. No! You're, you're going to let me speak. Go away! <sighs> Dead, please! Open the fucking d d door! D d d d door! Fuck you, Lynn! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> There's so much swearing in this game. I know we knew each other, but I was wrong. <laughs> Go away. I beg you. Game, are you gonna tell us what the hell happened? <laughs> My god, I have to leave this place at once. Oh dear. Time for Satan! Okay, cool. I do have sneaky vision. Okay, this is sneaky vision. This is something. Can't use that button yet. Okay, cool. There's a bottle. There's is it nothing. Is there anything in here I can use? No, 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 I want to see what this is. Okay, I got a bottle of ammonia! <laughs> that can only end well! <sighs> yes, I'm checking everything. <laughs> okay. Here's my hide spot. Got it. I understand. Fuck, I need hide spots already. <laughs> Lynn? Oh dear. Okay, so I have to reach the lobby. Can't see for shit. Okay. Got some fashion magazines or something in there? I can't believe I'm still dragging around this lice infested suitcase. I've had it since I was at the Flemington Institute. Okay. I have a knife! It's only about a knife, but whatever. Okay, is there a door? Oh, here's the 
goes for. Wait a minute! What does it mean? If this is a joke, I don't like it at all, In Go away. Okay. This is sus. Oh no. Locked? There's a dot in this your neck. Never been locked before. Hi. What's up? What's up, lady? Oh, I'm exhausted. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, I have a stamina bar. Shit. <laughs> Room two one three. Lisa said she would have taken care of it. I don't understand why it's locked. That's what this is. It's a stamina bar. Oh crap. <laughs> I don't think the first game had a stamina bar. At least not that much of one. Okay. What's the beastie gonna be this time? It's time to eat. Okay. Who is that tray for? Who are you talking to? There's a monster in there, isn't there? There is absolutely fucking loot. I don't a monster. understand. There aren't any guests at the hotel. Who could have ordered a meal? What's the note say? What the hell does Acherontia mean? Failed test uncontrollable Acherontia proliferation. It was eating it alive. <laughs> What's in it? What the fuck? What the hell did they do to you? What is that? You know the name. Call him Lyman once upon a time. <laughs> you haunted me. It's what the fuck? Oh, the fucking mobs. Shit. Uh, bye, bitch. <laughs> No, no, go, go through. Fuck face. Come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. Go through the door, idiot! <laughs> okay! <laughs> I hear a monster. Okay. So, uh, nice lady from the intro is not so nice anymore. <laughs> Shit. Do I have a journal? I, I want. Oh, you're fine. I yeah, that's my on you. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, I should be able to open the goddamn door! <laughs> should not be this hard to open a door. Get game. GAME! Can't remember if I had this issue in the first game. I'm hitting the button. Die. Okay. <gasps> Fuck! I'm gonna die. You know what? Take me, bitch! <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> Red. I just wanted to see what the dead screen looked like. <laughs> Alrighty then. Death screens are just as visceral as the first game. 
Excellent. I guess that you can walk past freely. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm checking the controls again because I have this weird. There, there's some weird glitching going on. Okay, so it is still the same. Excellent. Run! We gotta go. We gotta go. I wish I could open the doors easier. Won't let me go through the door. Oh, now it is. Okay, cool. Okay. I'm just gonna hide it here for a minute. <laughs> for the rest of my life. Did she come in here? Well, I assume whatever I have to do is pass her. I'm just gonna get my stamina back. So I can take three hits from her, and then I have to do something to escape an insta-kill hold. But I'm not entirely sure what the game wants me to do. <laughs> okay, it seems all clear. Yeah, game. Game, let me through the fucking door! Oh my god! <laughs> I hope they have this fixed by the time it gets released. Okay. Have their yes. Oh dear. The hotel will reopen in late spring. Until then, I will only see the same ugly old faces. And probably dead people. Lots of dead people. She's right the fuck there. Okay. What? <laughs> thing looks fucking huge in her hand. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try this one more time. Uh, excuse you! <laughs> okay. I think we're Gucci. I mean, if I can actually get through the door. I'm hitting every button. I swear to God. God. Okay, door is closed. Open the fucking door. Thank you. Hello? She. What is that sound? I told Ashman <gasps> we didn't need desperate children. Huh? Oh, she's right the fuck there. So she'll go back to her desk if you wait long enough. That's good to know. Come on, door. Thank you. Okay, so she will. So she'll go back to her desk, and I've got to get. I assume I'm gonna have to get past the desk, which probably means distracting her or finding something else elsewhere. And yes, this is my ad spot. But anyway, <laughs> that has been the first part of the demo for Remothered Broken Porcelain, guys. My name is Miss Carla Tanager, and I will see you all when I get another butternut stuff in my face. <laughs> <laughs>